When I was a kid, we lived in a suburb. I moved here in 1960 when I was three, and I had burrowing owls in my backyard. I had rosy boas. I had lots of different critters. I just thought that's natural, and it was. Southern California is the southwest corner of the United States. Mexico is just a couple of miles from where we sit, and we're part of the National Wildlife Refuge System, and that is a federal complex of lands in all 50 states and in many territories across the Pacific. Our motto is wildlife first. So we exist to protect endangered species, migratory birds, and native plants and animals, and to conserve the biodiversity. Our refuges are truly refuges. The city, the urban environment has closed in around them. This marsh that I'm sitting in front of historically was treated as a waste. It was a dumping ground. It was cut up and manipulated at, at our wishes because it was convenient for us to do one thing or another. And we've slowly come to realize that habitats like this are not just important for the endangered species and the other things that can live here. They're also important for us because these marshes and wetlands maintain the ecological health of the systems that we depend on. This little postage stamp of habitat is the center of a lot of activity where we are reaching out to the urban environment. We're bringing kids in to learn about the wildlife and the ecosystems around them because they're part of those places. La naturaleza está aquí viva, está aquí en plena, en pleno crecimiento. Y más que nada, para nosotros como tropa fue la oportunidad de poder enseñarle a las niñas a querer su comunidad y ahora sentirse orgullosas de que también tenemos esto tan rico que muchas personas de fuera vienen a ver aquí con nosotros. Ven las fotos de los tiempos de antes que no había nada, era pura tierra y que las niñas plantaron árboles pequeños como de ni siquiera un pie de altos y ahora son unos arbustos increíbles. Entonces eso hace que crezcamos como personas porque no hay letreros que lo dicen pero nosotros lo hicimos We're essentially giving back to the wild here in San Diego Bay National Wildlife Refuge. We have a project in South Bay that we completed in 2011, um, the Western Salt Pond Restoration Project, and that is going to be salt marsh. So as that habitat matures, we still need to keep those populations surviving and viable. Nothing winks out on our watch. These are truly endangered species that we're working with, and we're managing for the survival of endangered species here. We have environmental education here at the Living Coast Discovery Center and at the Tijuana Estuary Visitor Center here in San Diego. Where we're standing now is a part of the reserve that is called the Tijuana Slough National Wildlife Refuge. People literally come here from all over the world just to see the species of birds that we have here. A lot of threatened and endangered species that we help to preserve and protect here. Another reason that this area is important is because this is an estuary where a lot of species thrive. We try to enlist the help of 
the locals here, the people who live here in IB and who care about this area in lots of different ways, both in our volunteer program and just in reminding them that this is a sensitive area and that when they walk their dogs on the beach, it's really, really good for them to keep them on leash, especially during nesting season so that they don't bother those nesting birds who are having a hard enough time trying to just find a place to nest and, and raise some young and hopefully bring those species back from the brink. You can just come out and walk the trails. You can learn a lot online, but you really need to go out and smell the plants and see the birds and see the snakes and the, the, don't be afraid of them. <laughs> we have volunteer opportunities as well, so you can come out and help us plant native plants. You can help us pick up trash. Unfortunately, we get a lot of debris coming in at the high tide. And there's just opportunities to come out and be with nature and remember that we're part of the greater whole. There are dozens and dozens and dozens of species here that are all really fascinating. And here we have a lot of little animals that are really close. And so if you know something's there, you can learn about it. If you learn about them, I guarantee you'll learn to love them. And if you love them, you learn to care about them. And if you care about them, you want to conserve them for your children and your grandchildren and just for the sake that they're part of creation that we all are part of as well.